Thank you for watching this short video for the final week and a half for playoffs. We are now fully into playoff, which means it is win or go home. This week's points of emphasis are working to call the first foul or violation, sportsmanship, and match the game intensity with your calls. You will see in one of our plays we miss a violation which leads to a foul by the defensive team. We need to make sure we are getting the first foul or violation before it leads to a different foul or violation. If we have an instance where someone calls a violation or jump ball and your partner calls a foul, we can get together and see which happened first. By walking ourselves through the order of occurrence, we can get the first foul or violation. Second, and maybe most important this week, is sportsmanship. If a team receives three conduct technical fouls, the game is over. If you think a team is so bad that a two sportsmanship rating is warranted, let the supervisor know as we always need to fill out paperwork on Connect 2. Finally, games will be more intense this week. Everyone wants to win a coveted t-shirt. Make sure as the game intensity rises, we prepare to make bigger calls and be ready for bigger reactions from players. We need to be ready to use a quiet word with some players to bring them down. Remember, using a friend on the court can help you out. A technical foul should be a little bit slower in playoffs. The first play is a ball that hits the top of the backboard and comes back into play. This is incorrectly called by the lead. Remember, for a ball to be out, it needs to pass over the top of the backboard, hit a support, or hit the back of the backboard. This call should come from the center or trail. The lead should never make this call. That led to a hit foul. We need to make sure that we get the travel to prevent the foul being called on the defensive player. This travel call should have come from the center, but could have also been picked up by the trail. The foul is correct, but should have come from the lead. Remember, if we need to get together to discuss which happened first, this is okay to do, but make sure to do it quickly and not in the middle of the players. The final play is a block charge play with three whistles on it. The player comes from the center's primary area of coverage, beats the first defender, and makes contact with a secondary defender. This should be the lead call since this is a secondary defender in his primary. I think we missed this call because we didn't pick up the defender from the center position. Remember, if players fall on top of each other or the offensive player hits the defensive player and that defensive player goes in a straight line the offensive player wanted to take, it is probably a charge. If they fall apart or the defensive player doesn't go in a straight line from the offensive player, it is probably a block. Thank you for watching this playoff edition video and have a great shift.